Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of uh, physiology. Today we are going to continue the chapter on sports physiology and in today's video we will talk about uh, uh, very important uh, thing involved in sports physiology that is the muscle. Now muscle is going to be the focus of this chapter because uh, muscle is not just contract in sports. So um, that's going to be the focus of our discussion. So let us focus on some important physiological aspects involving muscles which are in exercise. So today we are going to talk about strength, power and endurance of muscles. Now the final common determinant of success of any athletic is basically how, many, how much muscles you've got. What is the strength of the muscle that you need? What is the power and performance and efficiency and output of the muscle? So it's basically focused on muscle. And this is why athletes spend big amount of time building their uh, muscles in the right amount and in the right shape. The strength of a muscle is actually determined mainly by the size of the muscle. With a maximal contractile force between 3 and 4 kilogram per cell. So that's the unit of how you measure the muscle contractility. Okay cross sectional area so jitna muscle maujood hai uske hisab se ye value calculate hoti hai there's a person who has enlarged his or her muscle through an exercise training program will have correspondingly increased muscle strength that is all understandable hai na? to give an example of muscle strength a world class male weightlifter might have a quadricep muscle with a cross sectional area of 150 square centimeters such a big muscle this measurement would translate into the maximal contractile strength of 525 kilograms. So, the calculations are not important, but just to give you an idea that the more the muscle cross-sectional area you have, the more the contractile strength muscle will have, obviously, right? Um, and uh, therefore, one can readily understand how it is possible for this tendon at times to be ruptured or actually to be evolved from its uh, insertion into tibia below the knee because um, you know uh, her muscle obviously kisi na kisi attachment ke through kaam karta hai. there is an origin or insertion of a muscle so for example I'm quadriceps ki baat kar rahe, so it goes over the knee joint and there is a teller uh, and if that quadriceps muscle gets more weight that it can bear uh, this insertion will tear off so this is the wear and tear sports wale mein. also when surge forces occur in tendons then span a joint similar forces are applied to the surface of the joint and sometimes the ligaments are torn as well the holding strength of muscle is about 40 percent greater than the contractile strength now contractile strength ka matlab hai ki us pe jab wazan put kiya jaye kisi bhi muscle pe to wo kitne muscle ko bear karke contract kar sakta hai aur kitni der tak ke liye contract kar sakta hai usko hum kehte hain holding strength so for example if this is you holding this beautiful dumbbell and these are your biceps and you are doing flexion now Initiating flexion, flexion is the um, you know phenomena of how much muscle you have got in here. But ye dumbbell up isi position mein kitni dir hold kar sakte hain. This is called the holding capacity. Uh, if a muscle is already contracted and a force then attempts to stretch out the muscle and it resists the stretch which means ke wo apne aapko holding position mein rakh sakta hai. That is what we call the holding strength. Okay. Therefore the force of 525 in the similar example jo bhi hum discuss kar rahe the previously calculated for the teller tendon during muscle contraction becomes 735 kilograms during holding contraction you need even more uh, you can hold even more than what is needed to initiate the contraction now mechanical work performed by a muscle is the amount of force which is applied by the muscle multiplied by the distance over which the force is applied so that's kind of a very physics thing okay the power of the muscle contraction is different from the muscle strength power is therefore determined not only by the strength of the muscle but also by the distance of contraction and the number of times the muscles contract uh, although these are not so hugely important for you to understand but just have a feel of uh, different terminologies in sports physiology okay um, that is a muscle that can lift one kilogram weight to a height of one meter or that can move same uh, some object literally against the force of one kilogram for a distance of one meter in one minute is said to have a power of one kilogram uh, meter per minute so these are the simplistic way of putting uh, the power of the muscle the muscle power achievable by all the muscles in the body of a highly trained athlete they actually you know weight trainings distance training sorry trainings kcb athlete ka 
ट्रेनिंग का एक इंटेग्रल पार्ट है इंपॉर्टेंट भी नहीं मैं कह रहा मैं कह रहा हूँ इंटेग्रल पार्ट है क्योंकि उसके बगैर कोई भी एथलीट परफॉर्म कर ही नहीं सकता ना आइर यू आर रनिंग और यू आर वेट लिफ्टिंग और यू आर स्विमिंग ये ऐसे नहीं होता कि आज रात को आपको ख्याल आया कल मैं स्विमर बनूंगा और उठ के जाके कोई बॉलीवुड की मूवी नहीं चल रही यू हैव टू ट्रेन योर सेल्फ यू हैव टू ट्रेन द पावर ऑफ द मसल अमाउंट ऑफ द मसल वरना फिर कोई चीज अचीव नहीं होगी ओके सो इट इज क्लियर दैट अ पर्सन हैज द कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्सट्रीम पावर सर्जेस फॉर शॉर्ट पीरियड सच एज ड्यूरिंग हंड्रेड मीटर सो दैट इज द एड्रोनोलिन रश पर हैप्स फॉरन से आपके अंदर ऐसा लगता है ना कि पावर आ गई है दिस डज नॉट मीन दैट वन एथलिक परफॉर्मेंस इज फोर टाइम्स एज ग्रेट ड्यूरिंग द इनिशियल पावर सर्ज एज इट इज फॉर द नेक्स्ट थर्टी मिनट्स बिकॉज सस्टेन करना उस पावर को उस एफिशेंसी को इम्पॉर्टेंट है और ये इनिशियल मतलब आप अगर दौड़ने लगे तो शुरू में यू फील वेरी पावरफुल बट दैन इट गोज डिक्लाइन ओके ये तब होगा जब आपके मसल्स ट्रेन नहीं होंगे एनदर मेजरमेंट फॉर मसल परफॉर्मेंस इज इंड्योरेंस अब तक हम पावर और क्वांटिटी ऑफ मसल की बात कर रहे थे नाउ द इंड्योरेंस इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द न्यूट्रिटिव यू नो बिट ऑफ द मसल सो वन सिर्फ जो एथलीट्स हैं वो अपना पावर बिल्डिंग और मसल अमाउंट बिल्डिंग पे काम नहीं करते न्यूट्रिशनल सप्लाईज पे भी काम करते हैं दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ मच ग्लाइकोजन यू हैव अवेलेबल फॉर द मसल्स अ पर्सन हु कंज्यूम्स अ हाई कार्ब डाइट स्टोर्स फार मोर ग्लाइकोजन द मसल एज कम्पेयर टू द वन हु कंज्यूम हाई फैट डाइट देर फॉर इंड्योरेंस इज इनहेंस बाई हाई कार्बोहाइड्रेट दिस द टेक होम मैसेज इफ यू हैव मोर ग्लाइकोजन यू आर मोर इंड्योर्ड बिकॉज यू देन कैन सस्टेन लॉन्गर पीरियड्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज ओके सो हाई खार्ब डाइट टू फोर्टी मिनट्स इंड्योरेंस मिक्स डाइट एंड द इंड्योरेंस गोज डाउन हाई फैट डाइट इंड्योरेंस गोज डाउन यू सी द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग अमाउंट ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन स्टोर्ड इन द मसल बिफोर द रेस स्टार्टेड एक्सप्लेन दीज डिफरेंसेज द अमाउंट स्टोर्ड आर अप्रॉक्सिमेटली सो दैट्स ओके द आइडिया आई थिंक यू गॉट द आइडिया that the more glycogen stores within your muscles the more endurance you have okay so uh, i hope you understood these basic terminologies because next uh, video will then focus on um pure muscle ko hum understand karne ki koshish karenge as a metabolic system so the muscle metabolic system during exercise we'll talk about this in the next video take care of yourself